talking about that, our very first guest is in studio. And, you know, this is um, a, a lady who grew up being told so many things as a child, tried so hard to shut them out. And in one way or another, it affected her. Now, the most interesting thing is, I think she became a teacher knowing all the things that she went through knowing that she will not do that to somebody else's child Sheila welcome to the show thank you you have such Kelly. a beautiful beautiful story <laughs> and thank I can't wait so to much. share it to the world yeah thank you so much so Sheila maybe you can take us back yeah. to you know when you were little like before all the drama like at home before you went to school yeah. were you like a playful child or you know was it also at home like, that you felt Pia, I can't be myself, really. Yeah, I can say that um, growing up, I was this slow but bubbly child, very okay. playful, uh -huh. <laughs> always disappearing into the estate because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm kind of a, a very interactive person. And uh, that is how I grew up, but with very strict parents. Uh -huh with teachers. very strict yes oh I so. <laughs> teachers yes. grandparents teachers and mm. it's a family of teachers aunties uncles and with very high expectation of course yeah and, and you i know. don't know if when they go through the training and maybe you can tell us <laughs> are teachers taught to be disciplinarians you know they expect the best especially from their children and even when you end up in their school yes then they will be looking out for are you in any mistake if yes. you are in any of the mistakes yes. then you'll be punished more yeah yeah. than other kids because they expect you to be better. Yeah, and you're expected to be kind of a, a benchmark mm -hmm. for the people around you. And especially if your parents are teachers, they really want you to, to, to score high, yes, to be the best. Yeah. And there's no compromise on that. And all. then before the world changed and we had a lot of teachings and positive thinking and positive discipline, they would use any means <laughs> <laughs> to make sure you do well, you That's behave true. well, yeah. and you perform highly, mm -hmm. holistically. You know, when, mm -hmm. when you grow up it, at home, before you go to school, maybe yes. a boarding school, mm -hmm. or even you know being introduced to school where you meet other children, mm -hmm. we already come from a different setup. So this yes. is new. Yes. We learn new things from friends, from the different teachers, mm -hmm. and that can affect us one way or the other. Yes. So how was your introduction to school? Introduction to school was good. But yet it was one of the up schools down in Momias mm -hmm. and it was a highly performing school uh -huh. with teachers who were more like my parents and everything was the shifter kind, you know? Yes. The, 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 the rigorous training, teaching. We even had tuition those days up to nine in the night. Yes, I yeah, remember. Yeah, that was in the 90s. Yes. So the standards were the same, expectations were the same, and the treatment may not have been good to anyone who had a weakness in one way or another. Oh, and that, that is louder. where the effect be began. That's true. Yeah. Uh, and for me, it was mathematics. It was, it was you mathematics. Know? Yeah. I think I struggled with math as well. And wow. it was so bad because my dad was an accountant. Yes. So <laughs> they would even talk to the teachers, Ile Classicona, the toughest teacher, yes. were mathematics. You will yes. be taken to that class. Yes. yes. And mathematics was taught with a kiboko in the hand. By then there was That's no so uh, <laughs> disciplinary measures on teachers who use mm. kibokos, my no. friend. No. And it was bamboo stick for us. Eh? And we are the ones who used to harvest the bamboo sticks. They said, you know? To school, you know? And it was bad, I can assure mm. you. It was very bad. Yeah. I think it was very, very tough. I, mm. I relate. Yes. I went to a boarding school where they would jump on a tree and grab a branch yeah. and nobody's wearing a sweater class your mats mm. and probably the you're back, facing eh? whatever direction yes. maybe you're facing this side the other row is facing this side so that akifika kwa kwa mekelea kiboko aki anakuliza swali so you you don't even know how to answer you're already terrified yeah. so that was the kind of setup that you also like got into when you went to school yeah and you know like if you know you have a weakness you went home with an assignment and some things were tough you expect that you go to school knowing that today is that same treatment day, you know? Yeah. So you keep expecting the lashes, mm. maybe being thrown out of class, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And in some some classrooms, you might find your peers who might help you. Yes. For me, my angel was my little sister. Oh, goodness. I don't know if she's watching, but yeah. I can assure you she was younger 
but all through, even when I was in high school, she would help me with mathematics. I remember at one point, because I got into church very early, mm -hmm. and I was telling God, please exchange my brain with Chichi's brain <laughs> so that I'm able to do well, you know. Yeah, yeah and did this mind. mean, did you, mm -hmm. did you feel at some point that um, just because you are not good at math, you are not good at anything else? You know, then it was, I was doing well. Mm -hmm. I was actually among the like top four girls after oh, a few boys. The worst. But yes. you see, I could look <laughs> at uh, <laughs> the first girl and yes. see that the difference is coming in because of this Math. mathematics. Yeah. I'm here with 80s and 90s, English, what, Kiswahili, but mathematics is 32, yes. 28, 42, you know. I'm oh like, goodness. if only I could. Move up. Too heavy. I would beat all these people, even these boys, I would beat them, you know, and it was very frustrating. And, yeah. it, and it can do something to your self-esteem. And I'm yeah. just going to throw this out to you guys. Mm -hmm. Are you relating to this story? I totally relate. One day I will sit here and give you stories of my <laughs> primary school, but I turned out okay. Yeah. But there's a bit of trauma that happens, especially if you grew up uh, going to school in the 90s. There was a lot of that. And wow. you can share your stories with us this mm. morning. Triple one, triple four, triple one. It's just going to cost you a shilling. And you can even send your stories on Facebook, Switch TV Kenya, Switch TV KE, on Instagram as well. So, mm. Sheila, what did this do to your self-esteem? You know, you are a little girl. Yeah. And you don't think you're good enough because this mathematics. Yeah, and I was like, my parents expect so much from me. Mm -hmm. I'm also growing up. One, I'm, I've been, I'm always a school prefect. You are the class monitor and you, you keep getting these beatings from the teachers. And it crushed me. I wanted to be better. But this mathematics, you know. It wasn't This working. mountain. <laughs> you know what, how this bad mountain. was it? Because me, I know mm. it was really bad. Yeah, it was bad. Like what percentage mm. was it? Can you uh, remember? Was it like a, I don't know, a B, a C? Uh, those 32 is a D. Ah, to D. Yeah, D, ah, That yeah. is where, I mean, yeah. the there for 35. Yeah. See, don't come mm. at me, guys. But <laughs> yeah, I understand. But, but if you're mm. like top five girls and... 32 in yeah, math. Yeah, you know, it brings you down. And yeah. you just, they are beating me because of this mathematics. Yeah. But uh, I can assure you that God always sends angels. We had a neighbor in the estate who was a teacher. I remember she was called Rosemary, Rosalind Wekesa. Uh -huh. I have to mention her wherever she is. I hope she's still alive. She's yes. the one who realized that I was getting crushed. I would go be behind the classes and cry. I would cry at home. I would just cave in, you know. You, you people think you can be bright, but there's something holding you back. Mm -hmm. And she just approached me and said, now you'll be coming to the house after classes and over the weekends and I will help you. And she's the one who made me get, I think, a 58 or 52 what? at KCP. Oh my goodness. That is what made the difference. And that is what took me to a very good high school. The math. Phase two of the story. Phase two of the story is <laughs> yeah. in high school because yeah. math is math. It doesn't matter if, if you're in primary school, high mm -hmm. school. It's just mathematics. And yeah. we're taking a very short commercial break. But when we come back, we're just going to be hearing phase two of this. Yeah. Did you get traumatized? Did you feel sort of like depressed? Did you lose your self-esteem mm -hmm. because you felt you were not good enough? And the teachers at that point are not helping because they don't care. They just want the best. They want you not to get a 30. They have pass marks. And when you get into that class, well, you can't get a corner. Yes, there pass was a the magic yes. 75%. <laughs> <laughs> and here you are with your 32. <laughs> my God. And you yes. dread the exams and everything. Please share your stories with us. Mm. Even as we take this short commercial break, we'll be right back. This mm. is a Full Circle with Mikali. Welcome back to Full Circle with Mikali. A very good morning to you. Where are you watching us from this morning? Triple one, triple four, triple one is our SMS line. Switch TV KE is our face Instagram handle. Switch TV Kenya is our Facebook handle. Okay, I hope you got that right. And I'm asking you this morning, did you go through a traumatizing time in school? Primary school, high school? Did you feel like you lost your self-esteem <laughs> just because you were expected to be something that you couldn't possibly even know how to be and they didn't care about that you can share your stories with us we'll be sampling that in studio i have shiloh mondi and we're just talking about her life and how <laughs> <laughs> so the way i'm taking away from me i'm just like yes, let's focus yes, yes. and mm -hmm. you got 50 over 50 
I got uh, 54%, 54% at percent. least from 30s. You did yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. That, and I think that is that has been my best ever. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Twinge Basi High School. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So that was your best ever. That means at primary school. At primary school. Yes. So getting into high school. Wow. Was it better? No, it got worse. Mm -hmm. You know, high school is broader. Concepts. Yes. What? Big words. And I'm here trembling, even as the teacher introduces mathematics. And I'm looking at the teacher. And she's a lady. And the first tells me, Hapa kuna shida, you know? Yeah. Then I just realized I still have the same problem, oh. but the grace is no longer there. There's no neighbor to save me. I'm on my own. I'm in a boarding high school, a very prestigious high school, with higher expect expectations than even primary. Yes. And here I, I, I got thrown out of class. Why? And you know those classes, they used to run for like over an hour. Yes, like two Double, hours. Double, yeah, two hours. You're outside there, everyone passing. Looking at you knows you've been thrown out of class. Why? The abuses, you know, the teacher, you know, when a teacher tells you, 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 you Luta, you'll end up marrying a cleaner with this kind of grades. You know, by then, cleaning was not, now, nowadays we have cleaners who are paid very yes. By then, it was not a, a job. A good eh? job, yes. So when a teacher tells you, if you continue like this, you'll end up marrying cleaners and what have you. Because of And it eats you up. You say, God, what did I do? And here I am scoring 48 out of 50 in English composition, essays, I'm just this, I, I, I'm thinking so fast, I write so well, I'm doing so well in English, Kiswahili, history, Siari, you know, yes. so I decide, okay, and you know, uh, and uh, mathematics comes with its cousins, mm, chemistry, chemistry, physics, physics. God. my dear, Yes. and you just look at this, and I don't know, those teachers were almost the same, yeah. It it became worse. I remember my chemistry teacher leading my class in a song, Where Shall You Go When You Fail? You know, it's a hymn. Ah. So he says, Luta, where shall you go? Where shall you go? And the class finishes, Where shall you go when you fail? You oh know, Lord you know the, way, the way, you know, students don't understand what they are doing. No. And that is one teacher that I have prayed that I forgive. He, I think, is the one who finished me completely. And I stopped reading. Even chemistry, other physics, at least biology, the teacher was funny. She would throw her books in the fish pond, but we would take it as a joke. She was an elderly <laughs> lady with <laughs> Luya accent, and we just loved her. We still joke about her today. Yes. So I held on to biology somehow. Yes. But as I get to campus, you'll understand that God knew that it would be my savior when it comes to, to looking at the grades that you need to do a certain course yes. at campus. But for what? mathematics, chemistry, Physics, the teacher was very good, a very good man, but my brain had already locked. Shut, you, you, shut, you shut it down. Yeah, I feared those, you know, those two figures. More concepts. Exactly. <laughs> you and go I to the lab. I ever got it today, You go to the lab, fine. you're mixing, and you're like, what was I supposed to mix, you know? Yes. Yeah. And I so this went through out in yes, high school. Yeah. But uh, at, at high home? school, mm -hmm. well, at least I, I was into see you and praying and what. Ah, okay. And I just said I will save myself with arts. And humanities. English, yeah, Kiswahili, history, mm. CRE. Mm. I, I used to do very well. Very well in those ways. When you got around to choosing <coughs> yes. the subjects, yes. so did you, was, it, was chemistry like one of the compulsory ones that you had to choose? So our school was that way. Yes. You had to do all the sciences. All. And I think that was very wrong. I think that was very yeah. wrong. What am I going to do? I think now physics? when I see uh, students choose, I'm happy for them. For us, there was no choosing. Mm -hmm. So those D's, D's, E's had to stay there. So you had to get rid of those E's <laughs> by tooth or nail. It's true. And it was bad. It the Vibokos. Really yes. Being beaten on your thighs, we had marks even after high school. We oh would ask goodness. each other, "Do you still have your marks?" They dis or they disappeared, you know. Yes. What? Yes. You know, I remember one time I took some grades back home, and I think my dad just looked at me and didn't know what to do with me. <laughs> I think it was he a twenty-seven you. in chemistry and a thirteen in wow. math, and wow. yes. he was just looking at That's me. That's a strong what do I a strong, e. very strong E. If there's anything Ukuchini, then stronger, whatever is down there. But I think he never beat me up because of failing. Yeah. I, and after what I went through primary school, there was a lot of beating. Yes. So I think he just eased up. It's just like, you know what, this one will never get it. So even when it came to choosing um, 
the courses that you want to do in in university mm -hmm. so where you now you knew i have to get rid of the mathematics you had a choice wow did you no we didn't have a choice no you had to take all those courses but now at least at campus mm. you specialize in your area mm -hmm. so at least i had my english literature yes special education specializing in sign language Okay. And the, the, the science that is most uh, needed at uh, that level for special education mm -hmm. is biology. And I got at least a C plus in biology. It saved my day. I was going to be turned away. I tried diploma. Mm -hmm. I couldn't find a, a, a course. I went uh, for P1 training at Kericho. Then later, I would see those children in school when I became a teacher. Those ones that don't even know how to write their names. Yes. Those ones that write a sentence and you wonder which language is this and a friend of mine just told me Sheila why don't you you look like you can do well in special needs education and I just said oh are they taking they yeah they are taking P1s who scored C plus and above in their high school and I was but like you good at this point Sheila yeah. like yeah. dislike hate is a very strong yeah. emotion so mm. we will not give mm. that out mm. but didn't you at this point dislike the profession your teachers did you resent it Okay, I can tell you that then, yes, being then. a teacher was not a good thing, and more so a primary school teacher. Mm. Having grown up in a good estate, mm -hmm. a company estate, where everyone had gone to campus straight and guys were getting into thinking of becoming doctors, engineers, what have you. Mm -hmm. I even lost friends in the estate. They would greet me like this, you know. We are no longer the same cohort. We are mm -hmm. no longer at the same level. Mm -hmm. And I always joke when I tell people, I even lost an admirer, a boyfriend. <laughs> the, f the friend told him, Kwani we utawa mwani mwa primary. Kai. So I went for primary teaching because there was nothing else I could do. I tried nursing. Mm -hmm. When I got there, those people at Kitale told me, Muschana, I, uh, yako, I, 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 sciences I, zako I, yeah, I tried diploma. I found a combination that I couldn't hack. Mm -hmm. So I went for P1 just because. But God is good. I, I, I love it. Now, yes. Right now, I, I appreciate being a teacher and a teacher of teachers. Yes. I am so happy. But by then, it was just that, what could I do? It will even puts you off with your friends, yeah. your peers. It's like... You took a lower job. Mm, yeah, mm. you should have done well. You went to good schools. How <laughs> do you end up as a P1 teacher? Oh my God! Yeah. And society, mm -hmm. we have to forgive society over and over again yeah. because they have set these expectations <laughs> for us that we yeah. have got no idea about. Mm -hmm. I told you guys to send in your questions and your, you know, comments and opinions of what things you went through in primary school or high school that sort of like did not work well with your self-esteem and it got you a bit traumatized <coughs> and this is the platform so triple one triple four triple one is our sms line i see uh one here morning mikali i relate because <clears throat> the canes were there and it was always maths i feel you i resulted in finding ways to cheat in exams oh my god <laughs> because waking up knowing you will be caned every day while wearing shorts and no sweater in the cold just kills one's esteem. The teacher said you will remember the canes or this math. I remember the canes. That was the torture. And it is true. I don't know. Math teachers were you have to be like this. Or something. I don't know. I don't understand. So I'm going to say my high weeks. <clears throat> Ramudhani from Kasarani. I also struggled because of mathematics. There was a time I got a 60% in the subject. I tell you, my teacher told everyone to clap for me because that was a very good trial for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and probably that wasn't the pass mark, but yeah. because Uluko Meji mm. push Kidogo. Mm. Mm. Good morning, Mikali. Looking good. Hey, Mimi, I was terrible. And still is terrible in maths. Nilisha jikubali though. Kuna siku nilichapo ni kiwa from 3 June. Nilipata 7 out of 50. Kwa kat. Wait. This is tough. These teachers should understand we cannot be gifted in everything. This is Grace who's tuned in from Githurai. And I don't know if this happened in your school as well. And uh, keep sending your SMSs. I'll get to them in a bit. But in our school, if you scored ile chini kidogo... Munaekwa candle, yes, you're pequeño. Yes. The the uh, five the five lowest, and then mm. five highest. Boko mm. corner, mm -hmm. bottom. Thank you. <laughs> to bottom five, <laughs> top <coughs> ten. Ama yes. five wanaekwa candle wana kunywa soda namkate. 
So Nini any, yeah. Whatever corner you are at, mm. there are sticks yes. that will work on you. Mm. I can also relate because my schooling life, I spent 80% of my time calculating maths, but still managed to score. See, you did great. Yes. See, is good. Yeah. Good one. Great, congratulations. Mm -hmm. Hi Mukali, you look cute today with red top, thank you. I do relate with that a lot. The math really made my self-esteem go down completely. In fact, I was a class prefect, yet my math was uh my math grade was down. I felt embarrassed. I'm Tina from Mombasa, which is exactly what yes. you were talking about. Yes. As a leader, <coughs> yeah. and embarrassed. You are. <coughs> hey Mwix, my name is Sharon, watching from Nanyuki. Let me tell you in high school my maths teacher was bad no na wale wale mwakufeva wakufeva that was him you would find that i'm always a swali but no one in the class and in one corner nijibu nijibu na ilikuwa nikama hakuwa anaona na haiku happen mara moja nilichokanga adi esabu si shuguliki but all of that change and you have so many titles <laughs> you have many yes, titles right yes, now yeah. kindly tell us about you know that new phase and what you're yes. doing to even change the space or change the narrative that you went through Sheila yeah just to confirm about high school yes we the ones who went to my high school we know about shooting so as the others would close school and go home yes you would re remain you're called on the podium your dining hall you are the shooters people see so you remain behind clean the paths uh, pavements yeah. Before you go home, I don't know if my parents knew I used to clean, oh but I used to at least uh, get late. Now, moving on, I can say that um, for me, you know, I found, I found refuge in the CU, church praying. Some of us maybe found refuge in other things, mm -hmm. drugs, yeah. what, yeah. Uh, uh, bad relationships. Yes. But as I embraced God, and I, I pray that everyone does, I realized that there was potential in me in the other subjects and I could ride on that and so I sharpened myself in those subjects I would read and get the facts you know arts are full on of notes eh? yes and I would score I remember one time I was unwell I had an English teacher who was uh, was radical but it was because she used to think I can do better mm. she got me out of the sick bay and I, I that day I think I got a 47 out of 50 in that English test and oh she goodness. picked me from the, the bed in yes. the sick bay. Yes. I think out of the emotions, the stress and trauma, I developed ulcers. Oh so even goodness. as I, yeah, I developed mm -hmm. ulcers, even as I moved up, I began doing well mm -hmm. in, uh, at campus. Yes. I went for special needs education. Yes. I graduated as mm -hmm. a special needs teacher, mm -hmm. got posted to a special school in Nairobi, actually moved from Western, that yes. was GST, you know, at least. And I worked so hard as a teacher of the deaf. And I would tell God, thank you for moving me to special needs education. Yes. Now I understand about learning disabilities. I understand about weaknesses, not just for these children, who have special needs, but even for these children on the other side yes. who we s think are normal or mm. we call regular mm. and have weaknesses in different subjects. Yes. And even as I grow now, I, I, I thank God because I moved. Now I'm no longer a P1, I'm a graduate. And now uh, after a few years, I got a chance and moved on to Ministry of Education headquarters as an education officer. And see God. Yes, training teachers and just putting in them the positive aspect. So if um, and we're yeah. coming to the end of this show, I mean, yes. time has just yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. We were having so Sorry. much fun here. Yes. But if you mm. were to tell teachers one thing today, yes, what would that be? And this is your camera. Yeah, I would tell them that uh, every child that gets into your hands has a potential. As a teacher, you are a parent, you are a mentor, you are a midwife. Yes. You are the one who bathes this child into their next level, into their next person. So your words, your treatment can either build or demolish this child, can either crush or restore, yeah. encourage or discourage. So let us make teaching a positive profession. Let the children that God drops into our hands come out shining 
in all their areas of potential because everyone excels in some area. And thank God for CBC, the new competency-based curriculum, which has pathways. If yeah. I can do academics, can go vocational, yes. I can go sports, yeah. I can go art, yes. I can go design. And that is what I'm telling all the teachers right now. Please be careful not to kill the children that fall into your hands. And if there's any, because I was also growing up and changing, I have handled learners. If there's anyone that I build out there, I bless God. If I crushed you in any way, forgive me because my gospel is, there is potential in every child. Thank you so much, Sheila. Yeah. And I hope my teachers, former teachers, current, like if you taught me, I hope you're listening. <laughs> and I hope, um, all the teachers out there got something because what the messages that are coming in are crazy and will be something that in a bit but also remember to send in your questions if you have any questions about your eyes and their health we'll be looking at that in a short while right now though we're taking a very short commercial break we'll be right back this is full circle with mikali <laughs> 